With this, you can calculate exactly where to aim, no more predictions. If the enemy is going left or right, aim with the ends of the crosshairs. Because of Sigma's 20 meter range limit, this will always apply. What? If the enemy is going diagonally, aim with the circle sides. Again, due to the 20 meter limit, this will always work. You're also talking about them having to walk in a straight line. This crosshair even helps you aim your boulders. At 10 meters or less, aim with the dot. Experience gravity. At 20 meters, aim with the circle. For moving targets, you can go back to using the sides of the crosshairs to help. At 30 meters, aim with the ends of the crosshairs. Anything after 30 meters will need you to aim even higher, but you'll rarely be engaging that far, giving your 20 meter limit under primary fire. This crosshair will help you and your team. So give it a try. I'm actually down to give it a try. I'm actually totally down. It was this one. Yeah, it was this one. All right. So the idea from what it said was you can use the lines if they're moving. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna take some time, I think. But I'm down to play a couple quick play games. See how it feels. <laughs> no, this doesn't do anything. If anything, it's kind of distracting. I think for being like, if you're a beginner, it could be kind of good. Um, Cause like, you haven't really figured out how the things work yet, but. Right there, I tried to line it up with the, the lines a little bit more and it just did not, did not work out. Definitely doesn't work for Mercy. It's too fast. Could it hinder a beginner though? Uh, I think it could. I think it could be somewhat helpful though. Just because like you're constantly thinking about which way to go, you know. But like if you get a little bit more advanced, it's definitely a little harder. Like yeah, I think it, you you be using it as a rule of thumb as opposed to a guideline. Feeling a good W. Yeah, but I've always been able to aim on Sigma, like somewhat. Not amazingly, but. I don't think I'm doing any, like, significantly better. It is kind of distracting. I don't think it's the worst thing, though. But I also think it's just like a... Uh, great example of how people can fall into the trap of thinking like something like a crosshair will instantly make you better, but it won't. I do like one or two more games just to like have a good final thoughts on it but Sigma is definitely one of those characters that can be a little bit tough for people to aim with so I was open to trying to see if there would be a better uh, an alternative to letting people learn how to hit things with it I'm not gonna lie, it actually did help me right there with the rock. The rock actually might be the biggest part of it. That might be somewhat helpful. Sometimes I forget how big the rock actually is. And the crosshair is about the size of the whole rock. No 
Oh, I couldn't get the fucking thing. You didn't let me get the. Oh, stop! I wanted to get the lamp! Oh my god. Speaking of crosshairs, I'm pretty sure I saw Guru has a nice Jumper Queen one. Very interesting one. Holy sh**. That guy got smoked. That's where I think the the crosshair actually might be worth, is on those rocks. The left click stuff is kind of some hoopla, but the rock, absolutely. I could see it being useful. Is this the optimal Sigma crosshair? I don't know. I don't know if I'd say it's optimal. The rock, the, the rock circle outline is actually low key pretty nice. Chasing me down, trying to, trying to, trying to constantly freeze me and wall me. A little sh What the? F what happened to that Sigma? Wait, how did he get all the way back there? Wait, what? Then just climb that. Wait, how did you do that? Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you, chat. For the rock alone, I actually think it's not bad. For a training wheels on how to use the left click, it's also not the worst, but definitely not a hard rule of thumb. They have a Jay Silly. I, oh, I, didn't even guy named I have a new crosshair for Sigma. I saw I saw oh, a talk. I saw a talk about Sigma crosshair, so I'm testing it. Oh, are you? Is it good? What, what was the claim? Uh, the claim was that with this crosshair you use the outer lines you can predict people like where they're walking with the left click and the big outer circle you uh you can oh it's like good for hitting rocks i'll say it actually is good for hitting rocks the left click thing is a little bit of uh, a little bit of, of uh an interesting Don't one though calibrate that per range yeah yeah it's yeah, it, 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 see, I, when I saw them do it, they only did it on training bots. I was like, I don't think that's going to work in practice. But the rock thing is actually kind of nice. Well, I mean, like, the thing is, is technically you could make your crosshair really big, and that would do the same thing for rocks. Yes. that's. I mean, that's what it is. It's There's a big-ass circle. It's just a big crosshair. <laughs> I mean, if the crosshair is big enough, you can't miss. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like, it's... It, yeah, like that, it's like a, it should work. Yeah. It's a small dot in the center, a big circle, and then like the the crosshairs like are like spaced out. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, so you're playing Goldeneye? Okay. Pretty much, actually. I can see it being decent if like you were just like just learning how to play Sigma for the first time. It's like a maybe like a good baseline, but yep. just consistently well, this doesn't work. Well, I mean, it's kind of like the Diva Cross here. Like the default Diva Cross here is really good for learning like the basics of Diva's aim because of the spread of where like your bullets will go. Mm -hmm. If it even still works that way, because obviously they've changed some of the spread on, on Diva's damage. But like, eventually you just switch off that cross here because you like just learn the spread. Of it. Yep. Diva spread. Yeah. Good. Mad at me. He's in heels. The Reaper just walking at me, and I hate it. I think it's like my second or third time playing Nimbani this season. I just have not seen it at all. I've won every map of Nimbani so far. I'm 4 0. 
Wow. Yeah, what do you play? I play D.Va. Time to make the how to attack the oh. Bonnie guy. I can do it. Just, um, you know, get them on the first point. Get them. No, I'm chasing that. No, we're chasing it. He's over here. I can't. They're already gone. It's careful. They had Swift step up. Oh, they're right here. They're here. Yeah, watch. Uh, uh, so, 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 so. Take a little orb. Yeah, take a little orb. You should be fine. Take a TP. Take a TP. Yeah, TP, TP out. Oh, oh, oh that's that's you should have taken the TP out. Solved itself. Oh my god, a gamer. I think I can just win this by not losing this. Win this by not losing it, absolutely. That's never shelf. I think he's gonna get play of the game. He's gonna get play of the game. No, probably not because I'm about to get play of the game this next play. Okay. You don't have ult though. I don't need to have ult for this. I, listen, I've been okay, practicing more here and there. Yeah. Watch this. Watch, I'm gonna show you a sick move. You ready? Yep. Oh. Wait. Oh. Yep. Yeah, what are you gonna do now? Cards being pushed. Your secret technique of push the cart? That. All right, who peels for their teammates? Are you kidding me right now? Call the sweaty gamer right now. Oh, what are you doing? Playing correctly there. In a quick play game? Oh, even in rank. <laughs> that poor echo. <laughs> right, this is a crosshair. Yeah, that's what it is.